guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Twee. thank you so much for joining me i feel like it's been a hot minute since i sat down and done a makeup tutorial i feel like i've been doing a lot of hauls recently and i've been kind of neglecting doing makeup so i went to instagram and i've done a little question and answers feature and i asked you guys to ask me any juicy questions ask me anything like nothing is off limits and you guys came through with the questions so i'm going to be answering a lot of questions that you guys have been dying to know you guys always want to know the tea the gossip and all that jazz so if you guys want to see how i created this makeup look and also get to know me a bit more please keep watching <laughs> Okay guys, it is 9am in the morning, a car has come to pick me up at 11, so we've got two hours to do this thing. Okay! So I'm going to go in the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS in the shade Stromboli. This actually might be really dark for me at the moment. So Miss Osman asked me, what is the one thing that I regret and the one thing that I'm proud of? Oh my god. That is such a good question. Okay, so this foundation is my summer shade, so I can't be getting away with this. I'm going to add a lighter foundation. I'm going to add one pump of the Shiseido Synchro Foundation. Ugh, much better. I try not to live my life by regrets, but something that I actually do regret is not starting sooner. I have been watching YouTube and stuff like that for a long time. I don't know why, guys. I was just never confident. I never, ever thought that I could do it. But I definitely know that if I started sooner, my life would be so different. I would probably have so much more confidence, probably so much more opportunities and learn things a lot quicker. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I do feel like the time that I started was when it was meant to be. So something that I'm actually really proud of is how consistent I am, especially with YouTube. I feel like I'm so glad that I stuck through it because let me tell you guys, there has been times where I have literally been like, bitch, you need to stop this because you're not getting no views. No one cares what you think. You're such a weirdo. You don't live a lavish life. Like, I don't know, for the longest time, I kind of doubted myself and I never thought that I kind of belonged on YouTube because I always thought that, oh, I'm so late now. People are so well established now. There's no space for me here on YouTube. By the way guys, this is the Hourglass Concealer in the shade Cotton. It kind of reminds me of Shape Tape, but not as drying. A lot of my friends always tell me that they wish they can be consistent on YouTube. And if I'm 100% honest, the only way that I was consistent at YouTube is because I am lucky enough to have Guang because he is so patient when it comes to YouTube. He literally edits for like two days straight on one video. And yeah, without him, I definitely wouldn't be able to be consistent. And for the longest time, I really felt that I was only an Instagrammer, but now I can definitely say that I'm a YouTuber as well, which is a title that I never thought that I would ever have. Okay, so someone asked me, when you need a break from social media slash work what helps you get through it the most oh that is actually a really good one to talk about i'm gonna quickly use the clinique chubby stick there's been a lot of times guys where i wanted to quit i feel like everything's so overwhelming something that actually helps me through it is vlogging i know that sounds so weird for the longest time i actually thought oh my god vlogging is such a chore i don't do anything my life's so boring for me i'm such a person that i love to vent i just need to get it out and then i feel so much better i also love spending time with my friends as well i really want to do more trips with them especially with me and Graham as well we hardly do anything like a lot of times because we work together I feel like 90% of our relationship is work so this year I definitely want to do more things together oh my god she has so many good questions so what is the pros and cons of being in a high school sweetheart relationship if you guys don't know me and Graham have been together for 11 years we've done like a boyfriend and girlfriend tag we've done Q&A's before so I'll link them up here so you guys can check them out but me and Graham actually didn't go to school together <laughs> okay guys I just finished with my bronzer. Look how glowy my skin looks. Mm, it's time to powder this bitch because you know that I'm an oily ass hoe. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I love this powder so much. Pros and cons of me and Graham's relationship. So we've been together for such a long time. I actually met him when I was 16, which is such a young age. The pros of it is I definitely feel that like we have grown up together, which is something that a lot of people can't say. A lot of people, they kind of grow apart, which is actually really sad. It's one of my like worst fears, actually, for me and Graham to like grow apart. I'm actually really lucky that we kind of work together and he's willing to, you know, put his career on hold and help me with my job because otherwise I feel like if he was doing something completely different i feel like it'd be so easy to grow apart especially because my job is just 
full time all the time you probably wouldn't understand that I always have to be on my phone I also think it's really rare for a lot of people to have a long ass relationship all the things that I'm really bad at he compliments me on it so when it comes to work stuff he is so good at like the little tedious things whereas I'm so impulsive and I'm just like I have no patience for anything so that's why I feel like we're really good for each other because we kind of balance each other out he's really calm really mellow and I'm just like ah! Crazy. So for cons, I actually said to my young sister, and if I ever had a daughter or anything like that, I would just tell them to actually not get into a relationship so young. Obviously, I am so lucky to find someone that I really, really love at such a young age. I do feel like your early 20s and especially your late teens, that like you should be dating. You should be going out there. You should be meeting a lot of people. You should be seeing what you like and what you don't like. I also feel like when you're young, you should be traveling. You should be going out to parties. You should be making a lot of friends. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I feel like I hardly have any friends. I maybe have like two or three friends because i have grang i kind of rely on him a lot i do think that if i was single when i was younger i probably would have made more friends so i don't know that's something that i can't control i don't know if there's any truth to that but yeah maybe that's like a little con maybe let me know your experiences down below if you've been in a relationship for so long okay i'm just gonna quickly bronze my skin this is sunstalker bronzer okay so another question that i got asked by candy darling makeup by the way, you are so supportive. Thank you for always commenting on my YouTube videos. Like, that does not go unnoticed at all. I just see all the time how supportive you are. And thank you so much for even watching my stories and asking me questions. It literally means so much to me, the fact that you are following me on my life. And I feel like you've been following me for a while as well. So I see you, girl. Shout out to you. Am I happy with my results from my surgeries? So you guys know that I am such an open book, especially when it comes to surgery. I don't ever want to, like, normalise surgery, but I do feel like it has a big big stigma around it and that's why a lot of girls they go to get it done and they're so ashamed of it yeah I kind of want to change that kind of perception of it I feel like people should look at it more like if that's what she wants to do then that's her she should be able to feel proud about her body but from my experience when I had my surgeries a lot of girls they were so shy about it they didn't even tell their boyfriends they didn't tell their mom no one knew that they was having surgery because it's got such a bad stigma about it and people look down on people that have surgery something that I can definitely talk about is scarring I know some people they have surgeries and they have no scarring at all I actually suffer from keloid scarring and it's just always something that's happened to me even if i get piercings like even this piercing can you guys see like it's not a smooth piercing because my body doesn't heal well i don't know what it is i scar so easy even when i get a spot it just turns into like such a deep hyperpigmentation that i had to spend weeks and weeks exfoliating to get a lot better so obviously i've had liposuction and i've also had my boobies done and i'm not gonna lie guys the scar from those procedures they ain't cute kind of have a keloid scar underneath my boobs it doesn't really bother me that much if i'm 100 percent honest ideally you don't want the fucking scar there it's kind of like a catch-22 because there's not really anything i could do to change the way that i heal it's just like the way that my body reacts to things okay so i'm going to use my amrezy highlighter okay so l never sleeps says i want to become a makeup artist but i'm so scared people will not like my work how do i get over that oh babes this is something that i feel like so many people struggle with and i wonder what it is about society that makes us feel so down on ourselves and i feel like if you're not surrounded by the right people you could easily just sit in your little room and just think like oh no one's gonna like me and just doubt yourself and it's such a shame and it's something that i used to do all the time and the only way to build your confidence is by actually doing the thing that you're scared of i know that sounds a lot easier than it is actually doing it yes there is gonna be people that don't like you and yes there will be people that don't like your work but guess what there's also going to be people that actually love your work and actually will pay just for you to do their makeup and you should never ever think like oh you won't be able to do it you're too late on the bandwagon there's so many other people out there that's so much better than you guess what there's also so many people out there that's so much more worse than you but they're still doing it they're still following their dreams and they're still making a hell of money off it there's always going to be someone that's better than you there's always going to be someone that's worse than you the only way that you're going to get better is by trial and error practicing my first youtube video my first client they were probably really really shit actually not probably they were really really shit the more and more you practice at something the more and more better you're gonna get it the more and more confident you should get it and just forget about what other people think okay guys so i got my eyebrows on i just quickly changed it to a dressing gown ah, look how cute these are this is from bow avenue like lacy sexy back it up back it up 
Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with this palette from Morphe. It's the 18B Making Bank palette. When I got this Morphe package, it actually came with quite a few other palettes, but this one really, really stood out to me. And I haven't done greens in a while. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly put in an eyeshadow base. This is the P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor number two. Okay, another question from Bella. She asked me, what is my worst habit? And I love you. Oh, thank you so much, girl. I love you too. So my worst habit, guys, I have so many freaking bad habits. One, I am such a messy fucking bitch. I don't know what it is about me. I can't clean as I go. It's like, honestly, like a tornado whenever I've left a room, especially if I'm ever in a rush. Another really, really bad habit that I really want to change is that I feel like I'm quite a snappy person, especially when it comes to Grant. I feel really sorry for Grant because recently, guys, you know i'm on my period and all that stuff and i feel like i just say really horrible stuff to the people that i love the most i feel like it's a lot easier for you to just say whatever's on your mind quickly without considering other people's feelings especially because you kind of take them for granted you know that is definitely a really really bad habit i need to change because i need to show as much love to grant as possible you know he does so much for me i'm just using this nudie kind of color by the way guys you can use code twee t-h-u-y to get 10 percent off in store and online okay so next question is from valley ola oh my god i feel like i'm saying that in a really british way ola what is your fear oh guys i have so many fears i have fear of not succeeding i have fear of being left behind i have fear of missing out my Biggest fear is probably for all of this to just go away. I feel like I have a lot of pressure on myself because me and Grant work together. So it's basically me and my face that's holding up the both of us. I also pay for everything in my family. So I pay for all the rent in this house. I pay for all the food shopping. I pay for the car. I pay for everything. And I feel like if this ever goes away or if I ever make a mistake and you know I get cancelled or cancelled culture, like that scares the life out of me. And I just don't know if I'll be able to handle that. And I feel like it's something that it could really easily happen because of the way I am. Sometimes I feel like I'm such a truthful person and I just say what's on my mind that if I say the wrong thing, I could easily be cancelled. The thought of that is just so, so scary to me. So that's definitely one of my top fears. Okay, so next question is from Glam by Phoebe. She asked me, what's my favourite thing about my job? Oh my God, I feel like this job has so many amazing perks. One of my favourite things is probably the travel opportunities that I get. I have always wanted to travel. I get to go to places that I thought I'll never, ever in a hundred million years ever experience. I come from like an old council property, like my walls are falling apart and my lights are coming off this ceiling my family are like proper like working class family i can't believe that i get to even experience business class that's something i thought i would never ever ever be able to do and yeah i just never ever take that for granted and another really really big perk is that i feel like i've got, always got someone to talk to now, i was telling you guys earlier that i don't really feel like i have many friends and i generally see my followers as like my friends i feel like i can come to you guys any time of the day even in the middle of the night 4am in the morning i have such a worldwide audience that there's always gonna be someone there to message someone is always gonna kind of care about what i have to say which is so amazing you know for the longest time i felt like i had no voice doing this job it made me realize like there's people out there that are just really really kind even though they haven't met me before i'm gonna grab a bit of this and a bit of this so l never sleep says how do you get over the fear of recording yourself i'd feel so silly I remember the first time i filmed a youtube video i felt so awkward I just felt like what am i doing like no one cares what i have to say i sound so awkward i keep stuttering i have a really weird accent as well like sometimes i find it really hard to pronounce things and i don't know why because basically english is kind of like my first language i can't barely ever speak vietnamese but sometimes i get really tongue-tied because i'm trying to think of all the things to say before it comes out so Something that actually really helped me was Snapchat. Obviously, Snapchat is not really around these days. I feel like that really, really helps me learn how to speak on camera and just say whatever is on my head because it's only 24 hours. It kind of goes away. But the exercise of doing that every single day, it really, really did help me learn to be myself on camera. But I remember when I first started to do it, it was really, really hard. Like I always would retake things over and over again. Now I can kind of just do like one or two takes and then it just goes live. So the more and more you do, do it you do feel more confident i remember the first time i was editing a youtube video that i was talking i was like oh i sound so horrible i sound like a man but honestly talking to all other bloggers every single person feels like that and then eventually you just get over it and just keep doing it and doing it you just get used to it so Charmin asked do you ever get bored of your boyfriend
friend and I love you by the way oh my god I love you too girl 100% no like he annoys me I'm not gonna lie but I never not enjoy his company I always love the fact that he's there <laughs> whenever I need him. I actually turned down a lot of opportunities because I can't bring Gwang. I've turned down Bali, I've turned down Barcelona, like loads of places that I've always wanted to go to because I can't bring Gwang. For me personally, I am all about the people that surround me. Like if I am going on like this amazing trip to like, I don't know, Bora Bora, and I'm on the trip with people that I don't know or I don't like, like I would just say no to it because I just know I won't enjoy it. Even if I'm in the most amazing like six star resort, for me, what matters is who I'm with. Yeah, I never get bored of Grant. I actually want Grant to be with me all the time. He's actually gonna have to go back to work this year at his other actual job. And even the thought of that just makes me feel so sad inside. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna quickly cut my crease just slightly with the blank canvas. I'm just gonna clean up my lid. Okay, so the next question I'm gonna answer is, what is my next big dream you wanna accomplish outside of makeup? I love makeup, but if you guys have seen from my vlogs, there's so much more to me than just makeup. Like, I love helping people, I love fashion, I love jewelry, I love accessories, I love tech gear. I feel like my next big thing that I wanna focus on is buying a house for one. That is just like top of my list actually. And also like, I really want to invest in a company. I don't know what company it will be. I wanna make something of my own. In like 10 years time, I wanna be like a CEO director of a company. Woman power. That's, I'm just gonna take this nudie color. I'm just gonna pat this on my lid. How do I make a TikTok and an Instagram video at the same time? Oh girl, I am like the queen of multitasking. I have done a TikTok video, a YouTube video, and an Instagram video all filming at the same time before. <laughs> it's hard guys, it's hard, not gonna lie. You have to have a lot of spare time. You can't be doing it when you're in a rush, but it's definitely doable. The only thing about TikTok is that you have to know the song before you're filming. Whereas on Instagram, you just film and then you find the song later. And also for TikTok, you have to mime lyrics. That is probably like the hardest bit. If you guys want me to film a video about TikTok and how to grow your TikTok, I can definitely do that because you guys know I love talking about social media and how to grow your platforms. Gabby asked me, what is the most funniest moment in your life that you can't forget? One of my really funny moments that actually happened to me was that I flash my Punani on a YouTube video. It's probably happened more than once, I'm not even gonna lie. So basically I was filming a Pretty Little Thing video and I was trying on a swimsuit and then I went to a dress straight after. So this dress was like a really, really long slit dress and basically I couldn't bother to put knickers because I just came out of a swimsuit, right? So I basically put on the dress and I was just showing how fancy the slit is and I was like, woo, like waving it around and not lying guys, 0, 0.00 seconds I flashed my punani. I had all these messages and comments popping up like, oh my God, check out 0 0.23 seconds in or something like that. And then there was putting timestamps in the comments and I was like, oh my God, what's happened? That's so funny on 0 0.23. I probably was like making a funny joke or something. So I clicked on it and you can literally see my vagina like this. If you paused it on the screen, you can literally see my two lips like this. Like, hi guys! I was like, oh my god, get Grang on the phone right now. So my sister had to call Grang and I had to tell him, like, put the video on private and we had to re-edit it and upload it again. So embarrassing, especially when it's a sponsored video, like you want the views to do well, but obviously I can't be having my panani on show. So yeah, that was such a funny, embarrassing, cringy moment. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do my eyeliner. I'm using a MAC brush stroke eyeliner. Someone asked me, can I do a house tour video? Bitch, you would not want to see my house. Not gonna lie guys, I am very embarrassed of my house that I live in. I always say this to my sister and I complain. Whenever I go to her house, I'm like, how is your house so tidy? Like you can honestly take photos anywhere in her house. My house is like a shamble. The only place I actually like in my house is my beauty room, the one that I'm sitting in. My house is so old and crusty. We need to get everything replastered again. My hallway is a complete wreck. And it actually makes me feel really embarrassed. And you know, when I was younger, I used to like hear my friends having people over and the thought of anyone coming to my house, I would just feel so, so, so embarrassed about it. Downstairs, it's so cold in my house. We have chimneys everywhere because my house is so old. It's like probably in the Victorian times, this damn house. Oh, this island is not very 
even is it <laughs> look how thin this one is and then this one is like so thick we don't even have a tv downstairs because everyone hates being downstairs because the house is just so disgusting like i hate the flooring in my house but one day i want to be able to live in a house i actually feel really really proud that i live there and maybe one day i can show you guys a really really nice house tour but for now this house is definitely off the cards. Okay, so lashes are on. These are Ella lashes from Lily Lashes. I feel like lashes just change the whole game, you know? It makes everything come together, 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 together. Okay, so I'm gonna go in Morphe Spiffy lip liner. This one is really good. It's like a really nice brown tone lip liner. Look, this is what happened when I try to talk. It's like... Okay, so on my lips, I'm gonna go in Hepburn Honey. It's like a really nice nude. It's one of my favourite nudes, actually. I'm gonna put a lip gloss on quickly. This is Laura Mercier Rose Gold Accent. So we're gonna end this video on the typical question of what would I tell my younger self? I would definitely tell myself to get out there, make more opportunities for myself. I also wish I would have told myself to like get into the gym more. I wish I was into fitness when I was younger because now I find it such a chore and I feel like I have no muscle memory. I feel like as soon as I leave the gym for like one or two days and I go back, I'm like, oh, because I started from square one again. So I wish I was more into that and like looking after myself that way. I don't know, I kind of took that for granted when I was younger. I wish I also would have told myself to not focus on boys as much. I feel like when I I was younger I just felt like I needed a boyfriend all the time and I needed validation from boys and I feel like that's something that a lot of girls kind of struggle with yeah those are all the younger things I'll tell myself okay so I just added this dose of color lucky eyeliner onto my bottom lash line I feel like I really brought the look together you know anyways guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video please let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this I definitely want to film more chatty stuff like I just feel like it just needs to be me you we need to build a connection I want to be someone that you can talk to whenever you're feeling a bit lonely whenever you have any problems or anything like that we can even do like an agony aunt type of situation because i love communicating with you guys and i love answering all you guys's questions and dilemmas so let me know if you guys want this to be a new series we can maybe talk about love life in one episode another episode talk about finance and another episode talk about friendship let me know because i feel like we need to start building more of a connection like all this makeup stuff is cute but we need some kind of substance up in here you know also if you guys haven't yet please subscribe because there's over like 60 percent of you guys that watch my videos and you guys are not subscribed like what's up with that rude please subscribe turn on notification bells every single sunday every single wednesday there's always gonna be a new video on my channel so make sure you are subscribed and that's it for this video guys i'll see you guys in my next one bye got one to this foundation you know we've got a time to clean there oh my god eye bogeys the fuck it's so early in the morning uh, I'm not gonna do a super strong super strong song 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 what the what the song 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 Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh my god, my throat's so dry. I use this. Shut up, Chanel. Okay, guys, so I just added a bit of this dose of colours. What in the fucking kennel is going on? I wanna see how could. So you got. <laughs> Always featured in my vlogs. Are you joking me? How did the dog just get in here? I was about to scream at Gran there. <laughs> Rock a bar, baby, on the street back. That was definitely not how the song goes. How did you open this door?